Sacramento city leaders are pushing a 21 point plan to solve the city's overwhelming homeless problem. So, what is the plan and why do some say it is not enough? We got answers tonight from city leaders. House keys, not handcuffs. Homeless activists continue to call for the end of Sacramento's anti camping ordinance, and they're demanding a safe place to sleep. Stop arresting people for camping immediately. City leaders say there are more than 5,000 homeless people in Sacramento, and $4 million of taxpayer money is spent each year on the problem. I need housing now, not next month, not next year. Now city leaders are setting new priorities. At the top of their list is expanding existing shelter space and creating a crisis triage center to assist homeless people in need. But they stopped short of endorsing the most controversial idea, allowing tent cities similar to those in Seattle. What I saw in Seattle was basically the city leaders thought they'd solve the problem because they created tent cities. It was sort of a cheap form of false hope, and I, I just think that that would be a bad direction. I'm only interested in options and solutions that lead to permanent housing. I don't like the tent model. I just don't, I, it's disturbing. Every time I see the pictures, I find that disturbing. I'd rather see us at least try for tiny houses. And that may end up being the compromise, a series of low-cost, tiny home communities that would give people a safe place to sleep. We actually have uh, some organizations in town that could produce tiny houses quickly. They also hope to find a way to make housing more affordable. I think we lose if we take our eye off of the number one goal here, which is the lack of inventory on affordable housing. Advocates for a 10 city say they plan on filing paperwork next week to get a permit, and they say if city leaders deny them, they will file a lawsuit.